Hi guys, welcome back to AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 3.2, Domain and Range of a Function. This is a great A video. I hope you enjoy it. Let us start. So, last time we've talked about domains and range, but what are they, essentially? Well, domain is what we put into the equation, such as the value of x, and range is the output of the value, uh, which is essentially y or fx itself. So, yeah, basically. So that's all from domain and range, and let us do some exercise. Well, do some explanation, rather. So I've thought of two different um, questions or food for thought that people say fx is equal to negative x squared what is the range of that and fx is equal to root x what is the domain of that equation you can have a think and I will wait well no because you can just pause the video so yeah now I'll explain. The graph on the left is uh, the first function, a, uh, negative x squared. And for range, we know it is the output value, which is essentially where the line is. And so let us see, where does the line not uh, be able to reach? You'll notice that uh, because it curves peaks at 0, 0 and drops right back down. There aren't anything above 0, 0 because the curve never reaches it and never crosses it. So there aren't a value for that. If you find a solution to that, you'll find absolutely nothing. And that is normal. It doesn't work that way. Um, there are ways that you can find these kind of numbers which are called uh, imaginary numbers and that I will cover in well not anytime soon yet but I will definitely cover them and for this one is root x you note that there aren't anything on the left this is because if x is smaller than 0 the same kind of scenario occurs that you can't have a square root of negative number. It's not a real number and it cannot be displayed on the table. This is a real number table and it just doesn't work that way. This is how the math work. And so we can talk, uh, we can only give certain information about these two graphs. For the first one, the range can be of all negative number n0 but not any positive numbers. For the uh, root x on the right we have the domain that is anything positive but not negative. Similar kind of deal but opposite and so um, these two can be written in form of this. So this is uh, x stands for the domain, fx stands for the range. And so fx is always going to be smaller than or equal to zero because that's how the graph shows. And this, x will always be larger or equal to zero because it never reaches the left has uh, the left hand side and so that is how do you, you um, talk about range and domains so when you are thinking about what is the domain or what is the range of that it is entirely possible that any value from 0 to well from negative inf uh, infinity to positive infinity well no that's another word. Uh, it's negative infinite to positive infinite. 
it's all um, possible. Those numbers are called um, real number, and that kind of a range or domain will be for all real numbers. And yeah, most of the time, a lot of scenarios will allow uh, things to happen, but. Uh, if you're trying to find a specific uh, domain or range of an equation, then you probably want to see what cannot happen ever. For example, you can never divide a number by zero. You will break math, and that is serious business. Never try that at home. That is dangerous stuff. So, yeah. Also, sketching a graph always help you to visualize, especially when you are doing uh, parabolas, where you have definitely a specific range, but you need to find uh, where it peaks off or where it um, jumps back up, and so you can find out which is which. Um, so that is for finding a thing range. So. Yeah, there aren't a lot of limited domains out there. X, uh, root x is probably one of those um, less common ones. All right, as it turns out, um, this is again another um, talk through video without any exercise. Due to the nature of this chapter, I found out that the entire chapter three is lacking question that can be asked and so a lot of them are theories that um, applies to other uh, topics so it applies to coordinate geometry co applies to um, calculus but this is just basic um, kind of a knowledge kind of thing so there aren't a lot of thing that you can ask about. So just remember to understand this chapter fully and you walk the exam. That's uh, all that I'm going to say today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. I'm back again because I want to correct myself for saying today. No, I'm keep making. Fi uh, I'm going to keep making this video because I need to finish this course as soon as possible. I think I can make it, but uh, no guarantees. So stay tuned, and I will see you next time.